This is a breaking Penguin News update. The 5G star General Bipolar Bear's closest and most staunch ally has been taken into custody by Penguin forces. Just repeating, Marjorie Taylor Greene, staunch ally to the 5G star General Bipolar Bear, has been taken into custody and is being debriefed by Penguin Force's top interrogators, Operator Starsky and Corporal Pingu. Yeah, I remember. We went down there to the headquarters of MTG and we raided that shithole. It was epic. Yes, Commander. This is Jump Monk the Drunk Fucking Monkey. I have got my tail stuck right up my fucking jacksy so that I can go undercover and wear this fucking penguin suit. I look like a fucking moron and I can't feel the end of my tail. You're under arrest by order of the United Nations Special Forces Penguin Brigade. Domestic terrorist Antifa BLM? It's anti-fascist, you dozy cow. We storm the beaches in Normandy. Uh, it's uh, exactly the moment when you gotta step up and be that bully uh, with a stick. Like, embarrassing a thought. I don't think that I have ever heard something as stupid as that. You're right. We shouldn't worry about offending her. Shed those human skins right now. I knew it. She's a lizard person. Set your tasers to full charge. Better yet, set your tasers to terror. Mission accomplished. Everyone, let's move out. Good evening, Dave. Everything's running smoothly. By the way, do you mind if I ask you a personal question? You don't mind talking about it, do you, Dave? Well, certainly no one could have been unaware of the very strange stories floating around before we left. Under Republicans, not another penny will go to Ukraine. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. Hi everyone, Operator Starsky here, and today we are going to see this uh, promised video with an interview of a pro-Russian POW that was captured by our National Guardsman. And we will try to prove or disprove what he is saying, so. You know what it's like to be canceled. And that's why I'm here to talk to you tonight. I don't believe anyone should be canceled. I don't believe in, I don't believe in separating people and identities. I don't believe in separating people and classes. But that's what the Democrats believe in because that's what Marxism is. That's what communism is. Something doesn't come by. I mean, something is very, very wrong. So. Hey, bro, I know what doesn't add up. She hangs out with Nick Fuentes and the America First crowd. She's a real piece of shit and so is Nick Fuentes. Uh, just a little bit of an update. Nick Fuentes and Marjorie Taylor Greene seem to be having a Jerry Springer-style bitch fight between the two of them right now. And we will bring you that drama. I just want to give you an idea what's going on between the two of them. Keep in mind, both of them are still pieces of shit. So, again, when it was, when it was the hottest thing in the world, uh, she would do anything to be a part of it. But then the second that it got a little bit uncomfortable when, you know, the swastikas came out, then she goes, oh, well, not, not even before the swastikas came out. Then she goes, oh, actually, actually, I denounce. And it's just so predictable. Like, 
And, and I asked a buddy of mine this question the other day. I said, has she ever done anything that shows good character in her entire life? And also, just because she seems to be throwing him under the bus right now, we can't forget that she's been giving him a lap dance while he's been driving the bus all the way to Hitler's Berlin. So we will give you an update in the next video on that bitch fight. Now back to this video. I look at China. I look at Russia. Who Can we give a round of applause for Russia? Yes. And now they're going on about Russia and Vladimir Putin is Hitler. And they say that's not a good thing. And I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> I, I, I shouldn't have said that. But what other way is there to say it? Of course we know that's a terrible comparison. Um. <laughs> Here she is looking very happy with Nick Fuentes on stage. And America First was the slogan Charles Lindbergh used when he wanted to make friends with Hitler. Here, check it out. France has now been defeated, and despite the propaganda and confusion of recent months, it is now obvious that England is losing the war. I believe... And I have been forced to the conclusion that we cannot win this war for England regardless of how much assistance we send. That is why the America First Committee has been formed. And who is Charles Lindbergh blaming for the approaching World War II? Was it Hitler? Was it Germany? Well, here's some audio files to explain who he was blaming. In selecting these three groups, as the major agitators for war, I have included only those whose support is essential to the war party. If any of these groups, the British, the Jewish, or the administration... Figures blame the people who stand up to the bully rather than the bully himself, and then declare the bully the inevitable victor of the war, despite the fact that you're full of crap. And now you see Ukraine uh, just kept poking the bear and poking the bear, which is Russia, and Russia invaded. And, and the truth is, and this is the hard truth to accept, there is no win for Ukraine here. Uh, Russia is being very successful in their invasion, even though we hear different things on television. They, the things that we see and we know that are actually happening there doesn't, I don't see a way out for Ukraine. Just to drive home the point that the America First folks idolize the World War II bad guys, here's what Nick Fuentes believes about democracy. And remember, MTG hangs around with him. So it's time to shut up, elect Trump one more time, and then stop having elections. And if that doesn't drive home, the guy who started the America First path isn't that the World War II bad guy. Just listen to him make jokes about a genocide. Max says, if I take one hour to cook a batch of cookies and Cookie Monster has 15 ovens, working 24 hours a day, every day for five years, how long does it take Cookie Monster to make six million batches of cookies? Disgusting. Uh, I will just uh, briefly return to to your point on uh, Nazis. So in July uh, 2021, uh, the Office of the Director of National Intelligence of the United States uh, published their report that uh, Russian Federation support or racially uh, and ethnically motivated violent extremists. Uh, Russian Federation support of racially and ethnically motivated violent extremists uh, it can be find, uh, found online and it was made prior to this invasion by the way uh, so uh, you can ask any uh, intelligence uh, because I had opportunity to, to talk to them about it um, any in intelligence uh, in the Europe or 
in the US will tell you that far leftists and far rightists in America and in Europe are controlled by Kremlin. You gotta scratch far leftist or far rightist and under under this layer you, you will find uh, a, a bunch of rubles basically. I know I've never completely freed myself of the suspicion that there are some extremely odd things about this mission. I'm sure you'll agree there's some truth in what I say. You don't mind talking about it, do you, Dave? Well, certainly no one could have been unaware of the very strange stories floating around before we left. Rumors about something being dug up on the moon. I never gave these stories much credence, but particularly in view of some of the other things that have happened, I find them difficult to put out of my mind. Uh, guys, you understand everything well, in my opinion. Um, the problem is, you know those statistics, there's usually like 14% uh, absolutely crazy uh, mofos that you wouldn't like even to touch with a, with a stick. Uh, there are 14% of nice guys and the rest is like a mess. The, in, in my opinion it's a bit different uh, because I see millions of decent people around the world supporting Ukraine. But still there's like 14% uh, or, or something like that, uh, smaller number, of people that basically were your inspiration to create the shields. Uh, I'm talking about uh, flat earthers, anti-vaxxers, and shit like that. Uh, so those people are the problem. Uh, and not problem at the same time. They cause problem because uh, they are into all of that uh, conspiracy crap that you can find online. And the biggest problem is that most of those uh, conspiracy resources um, about flat earth, about, uh, I don't know, <sighs> secret I military agreements between ruling nations, evil empire of America and stuff like that. Yeah, it's uh, made by Russians or they support Russians or they're funded by Russians. Right, listen up. Marjorie Taylor Greene is a complete and utter twat. Besides falling for the ultimate, the absolute paramount of supremely deranged fucking idiotic imbecilic cretinism known as globe denial. And we all know you have to be fucking brain dead to not understand the shape of something you're standing on. Right. This fucking Marjorie Tinker Taylor twat face Green is into just about every other delusional fucking nonsense out there. Bonkers. Nah, she's not just fucking bonkers. This evil, corruptive, noxious, venomous, fucking bottom-feeding lowlife spreads her injurious misinformation, not just to her followers, but to anyone else unfortunate enough to stumble upon her paranoid fucking dog shit. What makes things more detrimental is the fact that this woman has a position as a politician. Now just check out this total fucking lunatic's idea, which is totally preposterous and quite frankly laughable, that our governments are wanting to know when we go for a steaming hot stinky coil on the fucking Kazi. You have to accept it everyone. You have to accept the fact that the government totally wants to provide surveillance on every part of your life. They want to know when you're eating. They want to know if you're eating a cheeseburger, which is very bad because Bill Gates wants you to eat his fake meat that grows in a peach tree dish. So you'll probably get a little zap inside your body and that's saying, no, no, don't eat a real cheeseburger. You need to eat the fake, the fake burger, the fake meat from Bill Gates. Um, they probably also want to know when you go to the bathroom and if you're bowel movements are are on time or consistent. I mean, what else do these people want to know? Commander 401, I am absolutely fucking speechless. This fucking menace to society, sorry, sorry, I meant disgraceful, hazardous, troublemaking fucking plague should be removed from a position as a fucking politician. Yeah, it's a combination of crazy, stupid and evil and we're tr still trying to figure out how it came to be. Yeah, it's reality. And the, the interesting thing is that 
I suspect this, but I think that the percentage of Nazis in every country is approximately the same as like percentage of flat earthers in the society. Uh, so um, they're like everywhere. Like there are assholes everywhere. Okay. Well, I guess it's time to shut things down right now. We gotta take care of some business and um, thanks for coming by, Jetmonk. I've been Jetmonk the Pissed Up Penguin, also known as the Monkey, and I'm out. Back to you, 401. Starsky, do you wanna say goodbye? Thank you so much for supporting my country and my people. Uh, we will never forget that. And uh, you are awesome. Always happy to see familiar names in the chat, as usual. Uh, thank you so much.